It is Saturday the 24th of February 2024. It's about 20 past 10 in the morning and today's trip is Burton Albion. And ironically, I think today is my 25th away day vlog. He says, looking at my little sheet. And it's also a repeat of my first ever vlog way back on, uh, when was it? The 5th of January, 2020. When I actually filmed it on a cheap 40 quid camera um, the, the battery lasted about 25 minutes uh, so there wasn't a lot of footage from that one now I'm on a GoPro so yeah how times change so yeah so I'm literally going to nip around and see the parents quick and then um, it's a drive down to Kettering to get the train from where we shall continue Greeting from the car park at Kettering Station. It's about five past twelve, we've just got here. Bit of fun down the A43, some idiot trying to pull out in front of me every five minutes, but right here. So first train of the day is the 12.22 to Leicester. So let's see how this goes. Again, more updates since the last time I was been here, which was ironically that uh, but now in game when I went on the train. So, yeah. I'll get the phone out actually. My phone's got my ticket on it. Welcome to Kettering, we hope you enjoy your stay. Well, we'll see on that. Platform. This is on twenty six. Oh, 
Martin's oh, coming has made them all go loopy, innit? <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to go with my No, that's what I thought, but she says that she wants February 23rd, she uh, wants to be about me and Mark. That's a good start. Five minutes, eh? Yeah. five minutes late. <laughs> Such is luck.
course, the last time I was here at Leicester was that debacle getting back from uh, Walsall. When I turned back here and found that the train had been cancelled. But there you go. Still showing it was five minutes late, but it's due in any second, so we'll see how we go. The
speed. Jim Burton on Trent, Burton on Trent is our next stop.
1952 and we're into Burton on Trent. Right, after a wee stop, now for the walk to the ground. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I got it right around the other arm. <laughs> Bloody cable got caught. Head left out the train station. Also, zebra crossing. Just left it in. My phone playing up. <laughs> Turn right. And there'll be a tourist information sign. this road up to the ground.
Bueno, ya, bien. Stone on me now. This afternoon. This afternoon also marks our level playing fields fixture. Designed to encourage that football is for people of all abilities as well as a player sport and as a spectator sport. And you can see all of our players this afternoon are proudly sporting.
be a nil Northampton two so far so good yeah the weather looks a bit dark out there but you know so far so good we're two nil up not on our own the cobras will be sacking this end so let's see what happens second half
ないよ。<笑>
Station, gotta wait now for the five past. He says we get them by a break. station it's now he says uh, quarter to six I'm just gonna stop me bloody 
It's now quarter to six and I've got to wait for the five past six back to, to Derby. So I think the one we want. Not Chesterfield. Yeah, no, I said this. Calling out Long Eaton, East Mid Parkway, Loughborough, Leicester. Station. 
apparently the Derby firm have turned up as the uh, Nottingham fans are just Nottingham Forest fans have just got off a train so it's all kicking off on platform four lucky enough I'm over on platform six still waiting from
you back at Kettering. That's all the trains done now. Now it's just the 45 minute drive home. There we go, back at keep, back at Kettering. And five pound, five pound part there. Very decent. All right. quarter to eight in the evening and I left here at 20 past 12 so yeah good day overall two new win for the cobblers so we'll do the uh, 40 odd minute drive home that's if I don't stop at Tesco's to get some supplies and then uh, report later as we go overtaken by the Corby train. Right. Good evening. It is now about half past nine. I've been home about half hour or so. I stopped and did some shopping on the way back, as I said I would. Uh, time to sum up today's trip to Burton Albion. So, yeah. It's been a fun week. No, I've had a week off work. I went to uh, Oxford on Tuesday night, which is another fun trip. Took me three and a half hours to get there and two and a half hours to get back because it sent me around uh, Milton Keynes, Aylesbury, had them maintained part way around the bottom end of Oxford and then coming back it sent me back up the 43 to uh, the services, you know, the M40 and then it sent me across Milton Keynes, but hey ho.
Oh, that's a good cup of tea there, so I needed that. Right. Um, yeah. So, today's trip, I looked at the trains from Peterborough. Thought, yeah, I can do it. Bit of a faff because um, as my train from Peterborough comes in, the connecting train to Dar Derby, yeah, I miss it. I, it actually goes past the junction where my Peterborough train comes in. And coming back, I've got a two minute connection to get a train back to Peterborough. If I miss that, I've got to wait an hour. So I thought, we'll sod it. And plus the fact it was something like 68 quid or something from Peterborough. I even looked at it from Stamford, it was still 31 from Stamford. So I thought, well, let's have a look, see what it is from Kettering. Because when we played Burton a couple of years ago in the FA Cup, I did it from Kettering and it was something like £15.20 or something and I only had to change at Derby so well I'll have a look so looked again uh, I think it was like £17.90 or something for today's trip and I had to change at Leicester and Derby both ways so, so no great faff you know saves me money so that's what I did so I took a slow me hand down this morning um, got on the 12.22 he says reading his bit of paper <laughs> with all my train times on it from today. Yeah, I got the 12.22, which was actually running late. And got into Leicester, I was doing it quarter to one, and I actually got in just before one o'clock, which didn't help because my train out of Leicester to Derby was at six minutes past one, but luckily that was running late as well. That was five minutes late. So we didn't leave till near enough, just after 10 past one, and got into Derby, Near enough bang on time at half past one. And I had to get the 138 or the 1338 from Derby to Burton, which was on time. I think that starts from Nottingham and reverses at Derby. But you know, I stood all the way from Ketchum to Leicester because that train was rammed. Lucky enough, I managed to get a seat on Leicester's Derby and the Derby to Burton legs. So, fine and dandy. So, like you've seen in the blog, you come out the front of uh, Burton train station turn left walk down the ramp and turn right and literally just follow the road all the way straight down to the end and you'll see Burton's going on the left hand side it's about a 20 minute walk which is what I did you know turn the outside the ground find dandy you know the big obligatory search yeah always oh, in your bag or oh, medical stuff thank you very much sir boom pat down search yeah fine fine enough to get in the ground Queued up for 15 minutes to try and get something to eat. Oh, sorry, we sold out of pies. Oh, we sold out of these. We sold out of that. I said, well, what have you got? Well, we've got these Cornish pasties. I thought, well, I'll have a Cornish pasty because I was bloody starving. That'd be bothering. So I managed to stagger out of there and get it up to where I stood in the far corner. With all the Cobbers fans. As if you were looking towards the pitch, I was in the far right-hand corner. So... Stood there and put them into my old mate of mine, Russ. I was talking to him for a while and trying to get through this bloody Cornish pasty, which was lukewarm. I thought, well, sod this. I must have eaten most of it and I threw it over the back of this bloody stand. Finished my bottle off and go on to the game. You know, good half from the cobblers. You know, first goal, Mark Leonard, absolute belter. Bang, took two deflections and passed the goalkeeper. So, yeah. We'll take that for 1 0. And then uh, Mitchie Pinnock, it's an absolute scorcher. Or as Danny Brothers on the podcast would call it, a thunder bastard. So 2 0. 2 0 at half time. And uh, well, just before half time, Burton got a corner. And the former Cobblers player, Joe Powell, who's now playing for Burton, decided to take a corner for that corner. And he was about that far you can see the gap of about that much between the edge of the corner flag or the, the corner d area and the, where the ball was it was outside the box so we were all screaming ball on the ref rather than taking notice so thought, yeah we'll fire him down so so like i say get to half time so they're mooching around thinking yeah whatever and the clouds are getting darker outside thinking it's gonna chuck it down and the pitch was only just playable so yeah um Come to the second half, Cobbers are playing towards us. We're thinking, yep, yeah, we need a third goal here to settle ourselves down. 
because Burton has started coming back into it. And then Cobblers get a corner. And uh, Mark Leonard actually put the ball. It must have been a good, I would say, that far. <laughs> 20, 20 inches, half a foot away from the the um, corner flag. All the Burton fans are, boo, hey, he's not in the corner, he's not in the corner. So he walked over and moved the ball even further out. I don't know where I've got any footage of it, but I'll have to have a look when I edit the footage later on. And we're all cheering, hey, and the referee actually let him take the corner. The ball must have been a good foot away from the corner flag. Uh, that got headed past the post. So thought, yeah, fine. Game finishes, 2 0 win. Thought, excellent. Just got to face the, uh, the walk back into Burton's train station, like I said, which is 20 25 minutes walk away. And I mean, this was five o'clock, so and my train out wasn't till five past six anyway. So I thought, well, there's a Sainsbury's down the road. I'll go down and get something to get something to eat and a couple of drinks to keep me going for the trip back. So walk past Burton's ground, or sorry, Burton's State train station down the hill, keep walking on. You walk past the brewery on the left hand side, and there's a the big Sainsbury's on the corner. So nipped in there. There's a couple of Cobblers fans in there, swaying, swaying all over the place in the bloody beer counter, trying to get more beer for the, their trip back. I thought, this is going to be fun. So, walked back to Burton train station, down the stairs, waiting for the 18.05. Stood there about quarter to six. There was an announcement, oh, next train on platform one, it'd be the 18.05 to, uh, Back to Derby. I think it was actually going up to Edinburgh way. The the train was, but the next stop was but Derby, which was the train I, which was the train I needed. So we stood there thinking, well, this doesn't go till eighteen oh five. So we all piled onto this train. This train was absolutely rammed, and I managed to squeeze onto it, and all the doors shut, and all of a sudden all the doors swung open again, and, and the guy came on and said, no, we're actually going to be sitting here for twenty minutes. So if you want to get off and get some fresh air, please do so. So. Of course, by this time, everyone's pulled off the train. People are now find out this is the 1805 and piling back, and certain other people who had just walked down the stairs are now piling onto the train. So now you've got to try and squeeze all these on and everybody else on, which we finally managed to do. And lucky enough, it's only 15, 10, 15 minutes back from Burton to Derby. So we were rammed cuddly tight on this train, get back into Derby. Unfortunately, he managed to run into all the uh, Knott's Forest fans coming back from wherever their game was today. And I think they got met up by a posse of Derby fans. So they were kicking off on the station. Unfortunately, blocking one of the entrances, which I need to get over to, get to Platform 6 to get my connection train back from Derby to Leicester. So I'm thinking, yeah, whatever. So lucky enough, one of the blokes said, no, go down the far end, mate. Go over this. There's a set of steps at the far end. So they were diverting people down there. So went over there, got onto platform six. My connection train was running five minutes late. I'm thinking, this is not good. So kept looking, five minutes late, seven minutes late, nine minutes late. I think, well, I've only got a, a 10 minute connection at bloody Leicester. I thought, this is going to be bloody um, uh, Warsaw all over again. For those who remember the trip to Warsaw is where the train to up the swine, I ended up getting a taxi back from Leicester to Stamford, so I get me get me car and get home. But you know, finally the train pulls in 11 minutes late, and that's rammed as well. So I'm lucky enough I managed to get into a carriage, and I was stood in the carriage, and there was all these far, uh, um, Ketrin fans on there. They'd come back from uh, I think they played Michelin Sports and got beat three three one. And half of them were pissed, and they were picking fights with each other, and they were chinning each other. I got this half cast bloke threatening me, because I said, God knows why, I didn't even talk to him. And one of the Kettering fans was telling him to calm down, mate, look, he's not done nothing to you, leave him. Just go and stand in that corner, and leave this bloke alone. Oh, I'm going to fucking punch him, blah, 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 blah. Said, and bloke, this other bloke part of me said, look, He's, he's never liked this before, but says, he says, we ain't going with him anymore. He said, he's just an absolute pisshead. So, train finally pulls into uh, Leicester. 
running 12 minutes late. As it pulls in, the guard on the train says, for those of you connected onto a train to Market Harbour, Leicester, sorry, Market Harbour, um, Kettering, Wellingborough, and Bedford, another stop, Luton, um, your train is three minutes behind us. So get off on this platform and wait, it was the train behind us. So, which is what we did. And then these allowed to walk in this Kettering fan back off. And he started swinging punches at people on the platform. Next thing, three BTP coppers jump on top of him. So they said, sod it, mate, leave him. He, leave him with the BTP, he's their problem now. So off he went, carted up by the BTP and got on this other train back to uh, Kettering. And then we had to sail up on that because that was rammed as well. So yeah, that got back into Kettering just after half past seven. And then I just uh, potted around Kettering for a bit, trying to get the cramp out of my legs. And like I said, I've stood all the way from, I stood away from Burton back to Derby, and then Derby all the way back on the two trains back to Kettering. So my bloody knees were killing me. So yeah, walked back to the car, got in the car and drove out back, and I've you know, done a bit of shopping at uh, Tesco's because I've got a, I'm back at work next week, so I'll get some yogs to take in with me and whatever. When will the next away game be? Um, that is Cambridge away, which I'm planning on going. Uh, that might be a train, or I might drive for that one because it's slightly easier because the the uh, train station is a bit of a hike both ways. You can either walk from Cambridge station itself, which is about a two mile walk, or you can walk from Cambridge North, which is about a mile and a half walk. But that's that. And then the game after that I'm going to go to is Wick and Wanderers away, which I will definitely try and blog because I'm doing a train into London for that and then back out again. But like I said, that will do. Right. I've rambled enough. It's been a long day. And uh, it's about bedtime. So, see you on the next blog.